Hey, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Quentin and I just wanted to show you some of the experiments I've been doing with plugging microphones into my elderly MacBook Pro here. Um, this can be a bit of a black art. I've just been doing some experiments. I'm sorry, I normally do higher quality videos than this, but it's late at night and I wanted to capture this before I forget it uh, so that perhaps I can do a better video of it later. I don't promise anything though. But let me show you what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so this is based on my understanding of what's happening here, but I may be wrong about this. So <laughs> apologies if I give you misinformation, but this seems to make sense to me. So if I'm looking at system preferences here, and uh, this is all on, on the Mac, but some of this may apply to Windows machines as well, but in particular it's on my MacBook Pro. If I'm looking at system preferences, you can see there's the internal mic, which, by the way, is usually just down there. So um, the... Uh, so, so we can see volume coming in from the internal mic. Now if I take something like my Apple headset and plug it in, as I do so, we see this switches to external microphone because there's a mic on the headset. And if I tap that, you can see the volume level tapping. Okay, so that's all expected. Um, and actually, of course, when you plug one of these headsets in, you're getting uh, a microphone and um, uh, a headset because this is a a four-way connector on the microphone socket here. This is called a TRRS connector, which stands for tip, ring, ring, sleeve. Okay, now suppose you go out and you buy yourself another nice microphone, maybe one of these, um, these Rode uh, video mics, or perhaps here, this is a Rode Lavalier mic, or maybe you've got something flashy, as it happens, these are all Rodes I've got here, like the, um, <coughs> the Rode uh, Wireless Go. Now, if you look at any of these, they have a smaller connector on them. They have the uh, just a TRS connector, because basically there are no speakers in here. There don't need to be extra connectors for the headphones. So you might buy your shiny new mic. I'm going to start with using the lavalier here. So you buy your shiny new lavalier mic, you plug it into your laptop, and you find that it's completely unrecognized. This still says internal microphone. And the reason for that is that when you plug in a simple TRS connector like this, um, the system assumes that you're plugging in headphones. It has no way of telling. If I get my headphones here, look, there's the headphone connector. So I'm trying to do this single-handed. There's the headphone connector. There's the TRS microphone connector. They're both the same. How can the system know whether or not the thing you're plugging in is actually uh, a microphone or head headphones? It doesn't really know. So um, how can we fix this? Well, firstly, you can go online and you can find things like this little adapter here. This is a TRR. Oh, that's the wrong way around. Actually, you want this little adapter here. This is a TRS to TRRS connector. And you might think you could just plug your microphone into there and that would do the right thing and plug it in. But it doesn't. This the, the laptop still doesn't recognize it as a um, as an external mic. So that doesn't work. Okay, next thing you might try is something like this. Now, this is a splitter lead, which takes your um, takes your TRRS uh, that plugs into the laptop and splits it into a microphone and headset um, connectors. And so let's try that. And one thing I will say on mine particularly, this is a poor lead, it on my laptop, you have to kind of push it quite carefully to make sure that it has actually clicked all the way in. It's not a problem on my iMac, but do watch that. I did play for quite a while before discovering that this wasn't quite pushed in fully. Okay, so then let me try plugging my microphone into the microphone bit of this. Sorry, you can't see this as I'm doing it. I don't have enough hands here. Plug that in and no, it still says internal mic. Bother. Okay. Um, I do have my microphone plugged in. Sorry about the tangle. Let's get rid of some of these. <laughs> Memo to self. Don't try and do this kind of thing single-handedly when it involves so many cables. Okay, so my mic is plugged in. Nothing happens. Let's unplug it. 
plug it back in again. And whoa, did you notice that? That now says external microphone. You see, what I think is happening here is that when something is plugged in, firstly, when something is plugged in, if I switch to output here, it always recognizes headphones, even if there's nothing else connected to here. If it sees something plugged into the slot on mine, it's going to say internal speakers. If I unplug it, plug it in, it's going to say headphones. There you go, again, dodgy connection. It's going to say headphones as soon as you plug something in. It switches to say, I'm not using the internal speakers, I'm using the headphones. It recognizes that something is plugged in. And I think the key thing here is that it's at the time that it makes that decision about headphones that it also makes a decision about microphones. This is my guess. And so if you have one of these splitters and you just plug it in and then plug your microphone in, nothing's going to happen. If, on the other hand, let me unplug it, plug my microphone in, Sorry about the video. Oh, okay, I've plugged my microphone in. Let's now try plugging this in, as we did before. Plug it all the way in, and it switches to say into external microphone. Great, that's fine. Whether or not you've actually got headphones plugged into the other socket doesn't really seem to make a difference. But as you plug it in, it's important to have your microphone plugged in. Great, I think. Okay, now I can do what I want to do. So. Let me try actually using my Rode wireless radio mic here. I'm going to turn that on. This is a nice new toy. I'm going to plug this in. Oh, uh, sorry about the wobbling. Right, I plugged that into the microphone socket. That's good. And now let's plug this in and everything's going to work. Oh, no, it doesn't work. And I think what's happening here is that when this headset is plugged in, it looks at the impedance of the microphone to see if there's something that looks like a microphone in the right place. And the problem with powered mics like this, and this is part of a radio mic set, but it basically it has a battery. The same thing happens if you use um, the Rode video mic, uh, video mic here that has a uh, that has its own built-in battery is that there's not enough impedance it doesn't recognize these things as microphones when you plug them in so that doesn't work bother you could probably get some sort of impedance matching adapter or something uh, essentially a resistor that you could put in here that would make it work but I don't have one of those is there anything else I can do well the answer is yes if you have if you plug a microphone in like this I wonder if I can actually position this somewhere so that it will actually bear with me a sec. Apologies for the wobbly video. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, here we are from another viewpoint. I don't know if you can see this here, but okay, let's see what we can do. If I take my non-powered passive resistive mic here, um, right, this is my lav mic, and I plug it into my microphone socket and I plug that into here. Then as we know, this switches to external microphone. I don't know if you can read that on the video. But if I now unplug it, hey presto, it stays on external microphone, which is why I think this is making the decision at the time you plug the thing in. So this is now configured as a um, uh, a microphone and headset lead and I can plug in even a powered mic here and it will do what I expect. Let me turn on my little radio mic there and you should be able to see maybe the volume is changing here. If I tap on that microphone then everything is working. Great. So that's fine as long as you happen to have not just one expensive microphone but another one, a resistive one like this lying around. You may not have one of those. So the other way I found of doing this is that you can plug your um, Apple headset in and get that to be recognized as a microphone um, at the time you connect the thing up. Even that's not quite straightforward. So let me explain. Let me uh, move these out of the way. Go back to this. So if I just plug my 
Apple mic into here, the issue is that this is exp expecting a simple three-way TRS connector, and this has a four-way connector. So if you plug that into there, the microphone bits of the connections are not where you expect them to be. And I think if I plug this in here, it's not going to, still not going to recognize it as an external microphone. And so you do need one other bit of cable here. You need an adapter, which basically makes this uh, the microphone bit of this, or some bit of this, have the right impedance to look like a microphone when you plug it into here. And I found that if I got this little thing, this is a very cheap, it's like I think it was a pound fifty or something for, for two. This is a four-way to three-way adapter. I really quite don't know which way the connections are in fact going on here, but if you plug this into there, that turns your four-way microphone into a three-way connector. If you plug that into there, let me unplug from the laptop first, plug that into there, and then plug this into the laptop, then whatever sort of combination of uh, connectors I've got in here, it may be using the real microphone. Actually, let's have a look. Yeah, it does seem to have made the correct connections. The microphone that's built into here is indeed what's registering over there. So that four-way to three-way TRRS to TRS uh, converter plugged into the microphone socket of here, plugged into here, as long as these are connected up at the time you plug it in, that will turn this socket into being in an external microphone mode. And once you've done that, you can unplug it and plug in whatever mic you actually want to use, um, maybe uh, a Rode. So the question here is, this is very easy if you have a basically passive microphone like my little lavalier one here, then you don't need to worry about that. Um, as long as it's connected at the time you plug your splitter in, you'll be fine. If uh, the thing you want to plug in is not passive, i.e. it has a battery, it has its own preamp built in, maybe like this, then you probably are going to need to convince the port that it has an external microphone plugged in, and what, a way to do that is to plug in a passive mic at the time you do it. If you can't plug in a passive mic at the time you do it, you might get away with something like an Apple or similar um, uh, all-in-one phone microphone and a TRRS to TRS plug adapter like this. I hope that's useful to somebody uh, and uh, apologies for not having definitive answers here but that seems to be how it works for me.